Susan. Welcome. Hello, Yasmin. I'm not really sure where I am. I have it on my calendar. <laughs> where I am. Great. We're so happy you made it. What are you calling from? LA. Where are you? Hi, Hannah. Good to see you. Where are you, Yasmin? Um, I'm currently Bay. I mean, San Francisco. Hi, Tulsi. Good to see you. Um, where are you calling in from, Hannah? I'm in Washington, D.C. Beautiful. We'll get started in a couple minutes. I'm just waiting for everyone else to arrive. Welcome, Tarek. Maybe while we were waiting, actually, we'd love to hear how did you, how long have you been in um, in Hilo and how did you discover it? I'd love to learn more about you. Whoever want to start? I already Maybe. told you, I have no idea how, why I'm here or where I am, actually. But something got me and I said, yes, I want to be there. And here I am. <laughs> I love I'm, that. I'm a, I'm raw material here. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. I love it. So it, it just got into your calendar. <laughs> it popped up. It's time. <laughs> okay. Yes. I love it. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, we're so we're so happy you're here. <laughs> Hello, Claire. Hi, Krisha. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. I was just asking how people found out about Hilo. So since we're a smaller group, um, I'd love to hear how you found out about Hilo and how you got involved. Susan just had it in her calendar today. So she just is discovering it for the first time. <laughs> Tulsi, what about you? Uh, so I work with the Planetary Health Alliance alongside uh, Hannah Turley, who's on this call. Um, and we use Hilo as our networking platform for our membership. Um, so I've been with the PHA for about two years, and that's how long I've been using it. Incredible. Yes. Amazing. I'll piggyback off of Tulsi. It's the same thing. PHA, and I've been here for about nine months now, unless my math is wrong. So I've been using Hilo for that time as well. Incredible. Well, I guess we can get started. I mean, we have more people coming in, um, but welcome. <laughs> welcome to the July uh, Hilo Community Call Edition. Um, for those who are new, this is a space where we come together every month, um, have an opportunity to meet each other and learn how we can support one another. Um, and so with that, um, we'll get started by doing a brief breakout room for you to meet someone new. Um, and the prompt for today is just share your name, where you're calling in from, and perhaps um, how you found out about Hilo. Uh, so with that, I'm going to create the um, breakout rooms and we'll see you shortly. All right, we'll spend about maybe five minutes um, and then we come back together. All right, see you all very soon. Hello, Emmanuel. 
Hi there. Hi, how are you doing? Very good. How are you? Okay. I suppose I should join yes. my breakout room. Leave room five. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Carlo. I'm going to move you to room number three. We're just doing a brief breakout room. Hello, Jasmine. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello, Roger. Welcome. Hello, thank you. Hi, we're just doing a breakout room right now. I'm going to move you to room four and then we'll come back together in five minutes. Okay, great. Perfect. See you soon. Um, bring in everyone back in. All right. We'll see some faces pop up in a few seconds. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed meeting each other. Um, as for those who just newly arrived, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Hilo community. Um, we are we gather every month uh, to support one another um, and basically answer any questions that you might have and how we can support you. Um, but before we get started, I'd love to uh, pass it around to Claire, um, who will do a brief welcome, and then we'll dive in. Okay, yeah. Um, hey everyone, my name is Claire. I'm the director of product for Hilo. Um, so what I see as my job is to listen a lot to the people out there in the world leading purpose-driven groups and doing that on Hilo and really try to understand as best I can the needs of these groups and these leaders and then translate that into technology that we can build an offer to these folks to try to support your work. Um, so I love to meet people using Hilo and leading the groups. And for those who might be newer to Hilo, um, our purpose, the purpose of this platform is to help activate the full potential of purpose-driven groups to create a livable, dare I say, flourishing future for all life. So we are really trying to support all the good folks doing the good work in their communities, in the land, um, to heal and regenerate. And um, what can I say right now? There, some, there's a lot that's alive right now on our team. Um, we're doing a redesign process, and there's a blog post about that that might get dropped in the chat. And what that means is that we're going to um, really be trying to improve every aspect of Hilo in the coming seasons. And that's an open and participatory process. And there's various ways to plug into that. Um, we practice participatory design. So everyone is welcome to be involved. And we love to hear from you. And um, there's also a survey that we're doing. And I think that's going to come up later in this call. Um, thank you, Krisha. She just dropped the blog post. 
Um, and then just to share about a few exciting features, new and upcoming, we just launched our proposals feature. It's a new post type. So if you go to like create a post, it's one of the new options in the dropdown and you can have a decision as your group. And there's various um, templates. So if you wanna do like agree, disagree, polling, yes, no, pass, fail, um, you can create any of those very easily and, and offer a decision to your group and get input from your group on that decision. So it's something that we've been wanting for so long and now it's here. So I wanna invite all of you to test it out in your groups. And um, you know, it's just so fun to make decisions together. Um, so that is something we're super proud of. And that's on the web, that's on the web version right now, and it will roll out to the mobile apps soon. Um, and then just a tiny preview of what's coming up is that we're gonna start working on a feature called community moderation, where we're taking the typical moderation tools and putting those into the hands of every member of a community so that anyone in a group can say like, ooh. I want to flag this. I think it breaks an agreement. And um, I want to talk about that as a community and have that be a transparent process rather than a an opaque process that only the all-powerful moderators can do. Um, so there's we're in the very early um, stages on that. And I'm going to be sharing a blog about that in the coming month or so. Um, so there's a lot of exciting stuff happening and thank you so much for being a part of it. Thank you, Claire, for these incredible updates and anything about, I heard something about a grant maybe. Oh Did yes, sure. I can share about that. Yes. Um, our whole redesign phase is made possible by a beautiful gift from the Novo Foundation. And part of why we're working together with Novo is that they have recognized the importance of bioregional organizing, place-based organizing. And that is something that is a big priority for Hilo as well. Um, we support any kind of purpose-driven group, but we especially wanna support place-based groups. And we have some tools for that already, like the map, but we're gonna be adding a lot more tools specifically to support place-based organizing in the coming future. Mm -hmm. So that's very exciting. And we're very grateful to the Novo Foundation. Thank you, Claire. Um, one thing that we would, one thing that we do every month is highlighting some of our community partners um, on Hilo, and um, we are going to be hearing from the Planetary Health Alliance. Um, but since we also have one of the most incredible partners as well from the Hilo movement, uh, Emmanuel here, um, we also would love to to hear some brief. Um, overview about Hollow Movement as well. So we'll start with the Planetary uh, Health Alliance. Um, and I, I'd love to invite Krisha to in, in, interview or ask a couple questions for Hannah. Um, Krisha, are you in the room? I see you there. I am. I am. Great. All right. Great. So it, Hannah is a, a, a part of the Planetary Health Alliance, and we're really grateful to have her here. Um, and Hannah, I just if you'd be open to sharing a little bit more about the Planetary Health Alliance and what is the what are your mission and goals for the organization? Yeah, of course. And one of my colleagues is actually on the line as well. So she feels free to jump in whenever she wants. But the Planetary Health Alliance is a nah, how where do I begin? Um, let me start. So the Planetary <laughs> Health Alliance is a consortium of more than 420 universities, NGOs, research institutes, and governments from 70 different countries around the world. We are based out of Johns Hopkins University, but we're really a mission and vision and goal value-driven company that's kind of trying to teach and talk about planetary health and the planetary health movement. So planetary health is not only a move, is not only kind of a research movement, but it's also this idea of really social and transformative change in the globe. Um, I hope someone, I'll drop a link to our website where you, oh, someone dropped a link to our website where you can learn a little bit more about us. But we're basically an organization that is trying to better the society, better society by going through transformative change in everything that we do. Um, that's a very, very brief overview of it. Tulsi, if I missed anything, feel free to jump in, but I think that's kind of covers a little bit about PHI. 
Cool. And Tilsi, feel free to respond to any of these questions as well. Um, what's exciting in the PHA right now? So I think something that's exciting about PHA right now is there's a lot of momentum um, coming and there's a lot of growth within the movement. A lot more people are learning about the plant planetary health and the planetary health alliance, and a lot of people are joining this movement. Um, again, as I said, we have 400, we have over 450 member organizations from 70 different countries, but we also have 3,000 individual members on Hilo. So we have a global community of people who are really interested and activated. Um, and currently we're working on building more regional connectivity and do, going on more movement um, concentrated through these certain program areas that we're doing. Very cool. Yeah, the PHA is one of our biggest groups on Hilo, so yay. Uh, my last question is, how are you using Hilo? So if anyone heard in the beginning, how PH uses, PHA uses HILO is all our individual membership is on HILO. So HILO is what we use to network and collaborate between all our different individual members. So again, we have around 3,000 individuals joining us. We have discussions on there. We talk, we, well, you were just talking about like the place-based, uh, what, what, what word did you use? Place-based convening, I think. <laughs> um, we have our- Based groups. Place-based groups, thank you. We have place-based group kind of convening organization on Hilo through our regional hubs. We have just, it's just, it's a great space for people to come together and that's how we mainly use Hilo. Great, thank you so much for sharing. Tulsi, anything to add? No, no, I would just say, check out the website. We have a couple of really, really exciting updates um, coming out of our last annual meeting, um, including a roadmap, a call to action, um, where we're inviting others in the community outside of just like the clinical or environmental health uh, disciplines to be part of the movement. And we're really hoping to leverage HILO as a place to continue and grow that movement. Awesome. And is it is it open for people on this call to join? Absolutely. Um, I'll drop the links in just a few minutes. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, I'll pack it, pass it back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Krisha. Thank you, Hannah and Tulsi. It's amazing to see how different communities on are using Hilo. One of the other uh, incredible communities that um, I'm actually involved with and the steward of as well is called the Hollow Movement, uh, which is a social movement that is transforming the world. Um, and I actually am delighted that Emmanuel is here because I'd love to ask you a couple questions and for you to share about the mission of the Hollow Movement. Um, and it's also open to all. So all of you on the call today would be invited to join. Um, I'm going to put the link here on the chat. But um, Emmanuel, tell us, what is the Hollow Movement? Thank you, Yasmin, um, and thank you all for being here today. It's a pleasure to see some old and new faces and uh, glad for your interest and collaboration. Uh, the HOLA movement is uh, a term that was coined by phys American physicist David Bohm. Uh, Bohm is now the, shall we say, father of uh, the most prevalent theory of quantum physics, he established that back in the 1950s, and uh, he um, proposed that everything arises from the field of quantum potential, which he called the implicate order, which in other terms is source consciousness. And of course, it evolves or turns into the explicate order or manifest physical reality. And although seemingly different, Bohm um, said that all is one and that everything works together and is an unbounded wholeness. And no matter how different they may seem, the implicate and explicate orders are held together and woven by what he called the whole movement. So we have decided that this is a very apt term to describe a movement of movements to help us identify the, all the hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of groups worldwide working for a shift in consciousness. And uh, it has been proposed that we call this movement of movements, the whole movement, combining inner consciousness with our actions in the physical world. 
uh, the whole movement in its current phase uh, after many years of discussion and uh, elaboration was launched in Sedona, Arizona in 2023. That coincided with the publication of an anthology on the essence of the whole movement. And the title of that book is The Whole Movement, Embracing Our Collective Purpose to Unite Humanity. So the whole movement in its current form and conception was launched in Sedona, Arizona last year. In May of this year, we had a second conference, the whole movement wave, which was held in Ibiza, Spain. And we are moving forward. Uh, with many participants, we're delighted to be working with Hilo. And on Hilo, we are encouraging people to form what we call Holans. You may be familiar with a Holan. It is a term coined by Arthur Kessler that is simultaneously a part and the whole, of course, which we all are. And Holans are the term we use for community groups within the Holo movement. And we encourage these groups to have at least three people and to choose an action project to carry their work forward. And you can sign up at holomovement.net through Hilo, form your Holon, then you can interconnect and communicate with other Holons, exchange information, perhaps grow your own Holon and become more involved and informed on the movement of movements as we all work together to make a shift in human consciousness in this singular moment in history. So we're delighted to be in touch with all of you and uh, hopefully you can find ways to partner up with the Holo Movement. It's not an entity, it's not run or controlled by a board, Currently, we have a core team launching it and seeking out partnerships to hold the functions of the whole movement as we move forward. Um, so anyway, that's a brief overview of the whole movement, our relationship with Hilo and Yasmin is uh, our cultural catalyst for the whole movement and delighted to see you all here today. Thank you. And I'm Thank you. glad Thank to you, take any other questions. Yeah, if anyone has any questions, please put them in the chat. We'll definitely have a moment to answer that, answer those questions. Um, but one, actually, I was talking to David when he arrived about how he's been, he's had his own Hilo group on Hilo, um, but then he's also creating a haul on. So I'd love maybe for you to share briefly about your experience using Hilo and how you're now also going to be venturing off into the Holons uh, movement and Holo movement um, and understanding that that relationship. Um, yeah, thank you. So um, the first thing I'll start off by saying is that I am a technophobe. So I'm in a, I'm kind of a, a strange uh, minnow amongst all of you uh, folks here, um, and uh, but I manage, and I seem to manage um, on high low um, over the course of time, and um, I still manage to make some mistakes. And if you could fix the enter for paragraph, that would really help my life a lot. Um, so, because I. I keep skipping to the next, uh, you know, to a new page when I'm writing a, a, a post. Um, but I think it is, I think it's an exciting platform to be part of. Um, uh, just so you know, uh, 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 the FTGOAN after my name stands for the good of all now. And um, that is the, the, that's the, the part that I'm promoting and suggesting and it's really it's really a simple uh, strategy to bring together the holo movement the whole movement um, and a way to think about how we organize and how we teach each other um, and interconnect with each other in a way that creates what i call a shared path and for me, the importance of that is that it 
it vastly accelerates um, our effectiveness at changing the world. And yes, networks play a huge role in that. So that's the fourth the fourth level, if you will. It's me to we in small groups, to we in community, communities of place, um, self-governed using pro-social technology, pro-social practices. And, um, and then in these nested communities and nested networks of communities. So that's the vision that I have. And I think it's consistent with the vision of uh, Hilo. And um, yeah, so I'm glad to be here. Thank you for for asking, Ms. Mead. Of course. Thank you, David. Appreciate you. Well, so now that we've had a taste on what's new and all the uh, developments within Hilo and some of the community partners that we the Hilo has, we're going to dive in into more practical um, session, which is the ripple effect. Um, and this is a taste. We actually run the ripple effect sessions every month with the, within the Hollow Movement. So um, if you join Hollow Movement, you can have more of an hour long session on the ripple effect. Um, and essentially, what we do is ask, gives, and gratitude. So we'll spend about 20 minutes. Uh, we'll, we're going to create Hollons, uh, about four per room. Um, you'll each have five minutes. And we, within those five minutes, what I'm going to ask you to do is reflect on your ask and your give. And then um, the other people who are listening can answer, they can ask questions, offer ideas, insights, connections. Um, and really the goal is to help you think about, uh, just have support uh, in the within this community. And so your ask can be, about your hall, your Hilo group. It could be about uh, something professional that you're going through. Uh, it could be something personal. Literally, any everything is welcome. So, with are the directions clear? Instructions clear? Um, ask and give gratitude. I'll also write it in the chat. Um, good. Are we good to go? Amazing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Party time. Um, I'm gonna open all the all the holons and we'll be back in 20 minutes. Five minutes each, go. Thanks for hosting. Oh, you're so welcome. Such a pleasure. Where are you coming from, Andy? Uh, Chicago in the United States. That's great. Such a great city. Hello, Zan. Good to see you. Hello. And Good happy birthday. <laughs> successful. Very successful birthday yesterday. Fully complete. <laughs> happy birthday. That's wonderful. Nice. Which which room have I arrived in? I am 49 minutes late to the Zoom. Which are we? The, the main room. You're in the room. This right is now. the main room. Okay. Everybody's yeah, here. We're okay. all coming back. You're right on time. Yes. <laughs> we're all here. We're all here to celebrate your birthday. <laughs> well, happy yeah. birthday. It's a surprise party. <laughs> this is the best surprise party I've ever joined a zoom room with two people and then 49 people just showed up boom 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 <laughs> <laughs> welcome back everyone i hope you had such delightful conversations from the glimpses that i got to witness uh it sounded like a lot of beautiful ideas and wisdom and were generated um and shared so well done everyone um because we were not in all of each other's groups and holons uh, maybe we'll take like 30 seconds to write down in the chat what is something that you've learned that was an aha, like realization or something that really sparked you? Um, so we'll take 30 seconds to write it down. That way we can all learn and see it together. So 30 seconds, go.
Okay, countdown of three, two, one, go. <laughs> Tibet, everyone in my group is doing amazing work and I'm just always so inspired to be reminded that there are a lot of us out there. <laughs> that is so true. Keep engaging and authentically exploring. Trusting needed and right connections will be made. Yes, I love that. Well, one thing that would love to encourage you to do is I created a post on Hilo called The Ripple Effect. Uh, that has a template with your name, your ask and give and gratitude. So what I'd love to do is after the call, take a couple minutes to write down your ask and give because we can all comment on each other as post and see how we can continue to help one another outside of these calls. So that's what the platform is used for as a tool so that we can coordinate and continuously help one another. Um, so I just posted the link for that in the chat. However, what we are going to do together today <laughs> is something really exciting, which is a survey. Um, as you know, as Claire shared earlier today, we're in a process of redesign for Hilo. And so your perspective and thoughts really matter. Um, and so we're going to post the survey link uh, here. Where is the survey link? I'm trying to find it. <laughs> I can find it. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> on the case. Although I know that there are a number of people on this call that are brand new to Hilo. So um, no pressure to do this. Absolutely. But yes. you're welcome. You're welcome to share what up to whatever extent you would like to, if you want. So we'll take a few minutes um, to respond to the survey together. It's more fun that way anyway. I'll put some music in the background. And we'll share a couple announcements before we go on with our days. Well, thank you all so much for doing the survey. And if you haven't finished it, maybe we could do it after the call since we only have a few more minutes. Um, so a couple of things we'd love to share. Our next community call uh, for Hilo is going to be on August 16th at 9 a.m. PSC. So we try to alternate time with time zones since we have people from all over the world. Um, so I hope you can make it. And um, I also would love to encourage you to, to post on Hilo uh, if you have a resource you want to share or if you have an ask or a give, um, please you definitely use the platform as a tool to continuously connect with one another. Um, a lot happened here, but also a lot happens offline. 
one-on-one, -on -one, one to two. Um, there's a lot of incredible people in this community, um, as you can see. And with that, Claire, Tibet, Krisha, any final words uh, before we end? I do. Um, as part of the product team, um, anyone that submits a survey, that's just like really helpful information for us as we shape our redesign. So like your voice will be completely like counted and valued and inform what we do. And there's going to be a random drawing for community support. So we'll randomly pick someone who submits the survey and give their community or just you as an individual, a personal workshop on community building and stewardship. So there's a prize. <laughs> so thank you for everyone that takes the time to do that. Krisha, any final words? I do have two oh. things I just remembered. I just want to say thank you all. And I just really appreciate you joining and being a part of this of this awesome community. One of um one of my favorite pro proverbs, uh poems, which is an African uh proverb that says, if you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. <laughs> I think you've heard it before. Um, but I just wanted to bring that back into awareness that we can't do this alone. We need each other. Um, and we're just so grateful that you keep saying, you keep showing up, you keep saying yes, keep working on your amazing missions, and we're here to support one another. Um, and we'll end with a family photo, as always. Uh, so if you don't have your camera on, I invite you to do so for a brief second. And yay, it's so good to see all of your faces. All right, countdown, count of three, two, and yay. <laughs> we did it <laughs> we did it again so proud so happy um thank you all so much have an incredible rest of your day and we'll see you next month thanks everyone yeah. blessings awesome.